it in my back. So. I leave my Harley. No way. Pass. You can't say I'll go get the Harley. Get on it. Come on. All right. Time to go back to Grace. Go back to Graceland. Do do do. All right. Gracie. Hello, Grace. It's time for another cutscene. So where's Mosley? Hey, guys. Oh, there he is. Thank you, O oh guardian of the clock. Okay, don't start, you two. I want to hear what happened. That chick you gets with us every time I see it. You're right. The guy's probably into one of these secret societies. You should have heard him go on about alchemy, but I don't know. He seemed more bookish than anything. Hmm. I say anyone who's involved with these secret societies is a big suspect. Speaking Indeed. of which, Larry Chester is definitely lying. He said McDougal and Mallory just stopped by last night for directions. I couldn't get him to crack. Who's this? Chester? That's right. Chester? Interesting. I'll get started on the treasure angle. Check out the museum and church tonight. Mm. That fog really got my juices flowing. So that's what it takes. Oh! So, are we gonna eat or what? I'm starved. Well, uh, <clears throat> actually, Grace and I had talked about catching up. That's okay, Mose. I want to stick with my research for a while. Huh. You and Gabriel go. Cock block. Wait till later if you. No, I think that's a great idea. In fact, I think we should be going right now, shouldn't we, Mose? See ya. Cock block. Um, Come on. See, Grace, uh, maybe after dinner. Man, they really should have spent more time on Mosley's butt. Come on, that was ridiculous. Saving. Day 2. 5 p.m. Race. Alright, first thing we need to do is go out. Take our pointy boobs downstairs. Go and talk to Simone. Hello, Simone. Hi, Simone. Have you seen anything, um, oh, I don't know, uh, curious around town lately? Ah, we, oui, mademoiselle. Oh. What? Someone has bought a chicken. <gasps> it is making my mother crazy, this chicken. It comes to the garden, it eats her seeds. I do not know who is the owner of this chicken, but I know my mother. This chicken will be in the soup pot one night. Oh, well, it happens to the best of us. <sighs> yes. Do you know anything about the treasure, Simone? Well, I have seen many treasure seekers come and go, mademoiselle, but I have never thought much of the idea myself. But hmm. there is a museum if... Yeah, I know. Thanks anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was helpful, Simone. What do you care anyway? You said you weren't interested. Ooh. I'm not. That doesn't mean I care to watch you belly up to the trough. <laughs> Besides, you're just setting yourself up for a fall. Gracie doesn't like you that way. That's true. Oh, and what kind of guy would she like? I don't know. Younger, maybe? Good looking, a nice guy. She deserves a nice guy. Aww. Which explains her alleged attraction to you. Oh, that's purely chemical. Ah. Poor kid. See, I've got this pheromone thing oh, going good on. Oh, God. Yeah, I tried not bathing myself once, but my co workers got a little upset about it. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. You never could stand my success with women. No, it was how you screwed with women that I could stand. Mm -hmm. Ah, back off, Lancelot. Yeah, I guess we better talk about something else before I get worked up. Oh, hello, boys. Oh, uh, Madeline. Hey. Oh, you are already dining. How disappointing. I was hoping to spend some time with you. And especially with you, Gabriel. <laughs> oh, we can make room. But I must change. The night is just beginning. Will I see you when I come down? Would miss it. Sure. Then I will be extra quick. A bientôt. Ugh. 
And she knows I'm there. Look at her. She's like, hmm, hello, Chris. Man, is she hot for you. Whew. Where'd that come from? Pheromones. <laughs> Christ. You want to go for it? Why not? Sex worked for Bond. But Grace is in your room. Yeah, what did I tell you? <laughs> Having her around is like wearing a freaking chastity belt. <gasps> but Madeline oh, doesn't have a roommate. <laughs> well... Go for it, I guess. Oh, you boys. I don't know what I'd say to him after what I just heard. I, I just don't want to talk to either one of them. <laughs> what about Victoria here? Oh, there's Grace. She's not talking to us. Good evening, Signore Bukele. Bukele. to you, Miss Nakimura. Mm. Have you quite recovered from this afternoon? See, si. with a little help from the vine. Oh, <laughs> he's drunk. With a little brought divine. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, well, looks like they dine inside, but hey, want not, get not. Um, I don't know why I picked that up. I don't need it right now. Apparently I can from memory I can actually walk up to them because they will actually react. Hey guys. How you doing guys? Hey Grace. Hi. Hi. You going to eat? No, thank you. Oh, I'm pissed off at you. Can't you hear it in my voice? I'm disappointed. Uh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to scan that tape of that Gabriel had, but we can do that later. I just meant to do it. <laughs> oh, hey, Amelia. How you doing, kid? How are you feeling, Mr. Baza? Oh, much better, thank you. I'm enjoying the outside shock, immensely. What was... Um, the dead people? The two dead men? The two? Oh, of course. <laughs> yes, it really was a shock. Are you quite all right, Miss Nakamura? <laughs> you know, you're the first person who's asked me that. Sometimes it is easier for a stranger to be polite than a friend. Aww. But don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have better things to do. <laughs> yes, I do have better things to do than to speak to you, Emilio, as you enjoy the outside immensely. <laughs> Let's go to the museum. And, um, let's do, oh, hello. Hey, you know, before I touch this, I'm gonna see if I can get a print off it. Wouldn't that be amazing? Not a bad idea, but maybe I should pick it up first. Oh, but then it's your fingerprints. Goodness sakes, woman. Go get it. Okay, so she got it. I hope you are extra careful with not touching this, Grace. Is that something there? Yes, it is. There is a fingerprint on it. Yay! A known person's print. Oh, well, there's Montrose there. An unknown print. Um, what's this? That's the envelope Le Serpent Rouge came in. Someone taped it to the door of the museum. Ooh, the Serpent Rouge! This riddle is fascinating. You can almost see what it's hinting at. Really? I really want to solve it. Alright, alright, we'll get to it then soon. We won't look at it right now. Uh, let's go to the museum. What? The go. museum is closed. Oh. Yeah, that, that is kind of a downer, isn't it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, well it's time to check in. I believe that there is a pamphlet already. New pamphlet. Wait, I picked one up this I've morning. I've already got one. Yeah, I picked one up this morning. Um, Alright, so. What I can do is pull out my pamphlet. To pull out my pan flute. 
pick it up. We just get to look at things. Four angels are mentioned in the Serpent Rouge. Oh, that, that, that's interesting. But we haven't read Le Serpent Rouge mm. yet. Those angels' gestures might not be what they appear. Let yeah. me see if I can figure it out. I can figure it out. Ta here. Ta here. Ta here. Ta here. Hang on. Ta here. It's a tilted square. Amazing. The pamphlet says it means, by this sign shall you win him or it. I wonder if it could be referring to the treasure. But as we heard from uh, Signora Bucelli earlier when he came in, he said, by this sign shall you conquer him. According to the pamphlet, that's Rex Mundi, a.k.a. Asmodeus. Oh, fun. Whenever he's at, whoever he is when he's at home. Just looks like another scene on the way to the cross. I don't see anything that might be a clue in this one. Nope. Jesus speaking with some women. Probably followers of his. Oh, you gotta love the women. There's almost a pattern there, but I'm not sure what it is. It's a tilted square! <laughs> oh no, no, no thanks. I was raised Buddhist. We Ooh. believe in karma. Getting rid of your guilt isn't quite so easy. Ooh. That must be one of those confessional things. Yep. I wonder if Gabriel's ever done that. Uh. Look. <laughs> yes, he has. Many times. Wait, why does everyone go over here to look at this? Curious floor for a church. Even curious how they come and stand over here to look at it. The pamphlet points out the roses and the bag of gold. I wonder if the roses could be a reference to Rosicrucian beliefs and mm. the gold to the treasure. Okay, probably not. <laughs> well, the gold to the gold. I don't see anything that might be a clue in this one. Well, this one is Jesus Falls. Is it just me, or do all these faces look alike? They probably are alike. I don't recognize this one. That shield has a distinctive shape. Circle. Relevant? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe they squared the circle. Whew. Jesus being baptized. Hmm, Jesus is quite old to be baptized. Maybe someone can tell me what's up with that. <laughs> That's the guy who helped carry the cross. I vaguely remember it from an Easter service Grandma Knight drug me to. Hmm. I don't see anything that might be a clue in this one. That must be Jesus with his mother. Aww. What is that kite-shaped thing in the background? Huh? A flag or something related to the riddle? Alright, this is... I'm not sure how she ties into the mystery. Maybe she's just a local saint. And then again, Sonier did overcome his poverty, big time. Perhaps what? he prayed to her about it. Wait, wait, wait. What does the book... What does this say? It's a pamphlet from St. Mary Magdalene. Oh, Nope. All right. Where is she? Uh, Mary Magdalene. Da, 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 ding, ding, ding. Keep turning. Ah. Oh. 